Hi everybody, Joanne here with the Work in Progress and welcome to my weekly Sunday thrift haul. Uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, I do these thrift hauls every Sunday just to show you what I have picked up over the past week while thrifting. And I do ask that you watch through the whole video and then at the end, if you would leave a comment down below and let everybody know what your favorite piece or pieces were, and I will do the same. Now the really exciting part to me about this week's thrift haul is that everything I'm going to show you was completely free. And I have Tina over at A Country Girl's Attic to thank for it. We have been out of touch for quite some time now. You know, life just goes on, things happen. We hooked up yesterday and she and her husband Jack were kind enough to allow me to come along with them and their adorable grandson Landon and one of their dogs, Mayola, uh, while they went to the recycle swap areas. So everything, like I said, that I'm going to show you was completely free. And Tina, I cannot thank you enough. I had such a good time yesterday. I was exhausted and it was so well worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you what I found. Um, first, and these I'm going to give to my friend down the street who has a, a little six-month-old little uh, grandbaby, a little girl. Uh, this is just a leftover package of, I guess they're kind of changing table like pads for on the go. So there was this packet here and the rest of this packet here. And then for uh, clothing wise for the baby, found this adorable little outfit. It still has the tags on it. One little issue you'll see right there, a little tiny stain, but a six month old baby is not gonna care about a stain like that. Cutest little outfit. This was from, let's see, where is it? From Belk's originally, look at that, $30. And then it was marked down to what, $14.99 and didn't work for somebody, so I got it for free. And another thing I picked up for the baby, now she's gonna have to grow into this, but it was just so cute, Tina spotted it. Now what little diva isn't gonna to wanna to wear this cute little little vest? Um, it's got some little rhinestone, not rhinestones, uh, sequins around here, and then sort of uh, just sparkly buttons down the front. It needs a good washing. Uh, but after that, it will be good to go. And then we found a couple toys for her as well. Just this little rattle. So these will be good and disinfected. And this little rattle, shaped like a seahorse. And then this one is really cool because this will suction cup on, you know, to a window or something. And she can just play to her heart's content with that. So that's what I was able to pick up for the baby. So. I'll get all that stuff washed up and cleaned up and down to my friend. And the other pieces that I got, um, I found a set of four of these mugs. They don't have any markings on them, uh, but I'm going to try and resell them because uh, now they're dirty as dirty can be. I'll have to clean them up, of course, but they're in really good shape and I thought they would just, they do have a vintage look to them and I thought that they would appeal to, you know, vintage lovers as well as tech lovers. So there was a set of four of those. And push those to the side. And then I found uh, this Cracker Barrel mug. See that? And this has horses on the front of it in a brown. And it's all glazed except for the horses. They have been left unglazed. A pretty brown color. And I'm thinking about reselling this as well. Although I have to admit that I love horses. I've loved them ever since I was a little kid. And I found this beautiful Madonna. I could not leave her alone. And I noticed when I got her home that she does have one teeny tiny little chip there. She's a planter. Uh, no markings. Is that a marking on the bottom there? Let me see. No, no markings on the bottom there. It was just a spot that was unglazed. Um, but when I see these, I just can't leave them behind. I just feel like I just have to pick them up. So I, I did pick her up. I was thinking about reselling her, but now with that little chip that I see, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep her or resell her. 
and then this guy oh my goodness I went nuts when I found this little guy he was at the bottom of a box that was filled up with clothes and I went just kind of moved the clothes around and look at what I found at the bottom <gasps> look at him he's a little elephant and he's all made out of peppers isn't he the cutest little guy and I love elephants anyway so I had to take him and I'm going to put him on my tiered tray. I think he's going to be a wonderful, colorful accent to my tiered tray. So I just thought he was adorable. Oh, one more clothing piece I forgot to show you. And it's nothing special, but you have to excuse my sniffling. Allergies have just been beating me to the ground this past week. And I have no idea what it is that is out there, but it's taking its toll on me. <clears throat> and uh, so the last piece of piece of clothing. It's just this night shirt. It's by uh, Liz Claiborne. Size tag is missing. Doesn't matter. I love these big kind of floppy oversized things that you can just throw on and hop, hop into bed. So that was the last clothing item. Also found this, um, I, I don't know what this is made of, some kind of metal uh, tumbler from Starbucks. Now it is missing the screw top lid on it. But other than that, it's in really, really good shape. So I was thinking about reselling this as well, but um, give me your input. Uh, if you were a Starbucks lover and loved Starbucks mugs, is this even something that you might consider purchasing since it doesn't have the lid on it? So I'm kind of on the fence about this. Uh, then I found this, it's sub, somewhat used up, seven, generation natural dishwasher detergent gel but it was free and it's probably about halfway full maybe so I was happy to get that also found uh, I'm gonna look this up and see what the resale value on this is it is a I believe it's an ink cartridge yes for use with HP photo smart so that's it and I believe it's a Pink. Yep, it's a pink cartridge. So we'll see on that one. And if it's if it's really no good for a resell, uh, resale, then I will donate it. Found this brand new unexpired Alme mascara. I mean, unopened. So why wouldn't you pick it up? And this one I will give to my daughter because this is Alme is not animal friendly. So um, this will go to my daughter. I won't use it. And let's see, what else did I get? The last pieces, no, actually, it's not the last pieces. Hold on. This ginormous bag of packing materials. There's bubble wrap in here and um, those uh, air pocket things. So that is going to be fantastic for shipping items for, uh, from eBay. And I do have to go through it because I did notice there were some pieces of paper and that sort of thing in it. But I am happy to go through that and pull out what I can use. That was a, a real score because if, if you know, the packing materials for shipping can be really expensive. Um, so I was happy to grab that. And then I got this. Um, I think it's a trowel. Is that a trowel? Maybe for... Um, Oh, what is that? Um, when you're doing tiling and such. But I loved it. It's rusty. It's old. And I'm just going to stick that in. I have a uh, tool box down in Florida where I just find old tools and such. And I'm just going to stick that in there. So I was happy to get that too. Silly thing, I know. And then another really silly thing are a bunch of boxes. <laughs> and I picked these up because, again, for reselling, uh, if I can get boxes and reuse them and they're good boxes, then I'm going to do that. And I think most of these are either from um, Amazon or it looks like some of them are from Whole Foods. So these are some nice sturdy boxes for shipping. Let me put them on down here and I'll be right back. A few more things to show you. And I know, silly, but it's a piece of just white board. Um, it's that pressed board with the white edge on it and as it just so happened <laughs> this was a lucky find because I have a 
a unit upstairs in my what I call my resale room, resale room, where I store things, and I ran out of shelves on it, and I have more room to put shelves on it. I just didn't have the shelves. So what a lucky find this was. I will take it and cut it down, and I can get, I believe, two shelves out of this one piece. And this has got to be a good, I'm guessing, maybe 10 or maybe more dollars at uh, like Lowe's or, uh, not Lowe's, yeah, Lowe's or Home Depot. So I was super happy to find that. The other piece, I'm actually going to have to pull you down a little bit to show you this one. And it is that piece right there. This is going to be perfect in my resale room. I'm going to go to Lowe's and have them uh, cut some board that's going to fit in these six slots here. This is going to be great, like I said, for resale. And then, um, who knows, maybe I can even use it in the future. Uh, and distress it or something, paint it, distress it and use it as a home decor piece. But for now, free, absolutely free, this will help me for storage. Okay, bring you back up here. Sorry, you guys are flying today. <laughs> and then, let's see, now the last pieces I got are for a project um, that Nicole over at Nicole North Garden gave me the idea for. She did a video a while back where she took a wash tub and filled it up with dirt. And then she took an old faucet and strung crystals out of the faucet like it was water. And then she had plates and cups and saucers and stuff that she planted into the dirt. And then uh, planted these sweet alyssum, I believe that's what they were called, flowers and in white and then when the flowers bloom and spread out it looks like soap bubbles so it looks like a wash basin with your dishes in it so I've been on the hunt for dishes for that so I found some really cute ones I think um, this and I think it might even be transfer wear I love the scene on it um, this happens to be a piece by Homer Laughlin so I'm going to use that for it and this one let's see which was upside down there it is. I think that's it. I think that's another transfer piece. And this one is, says Harvest USA on the back of it. And this cutie, that's a little saucer, I believe. There are no markings or anything on the back of that, but I thought it was super cute. And then this teeny weeny little cup, pretty, and saucer. There are no markings on the saucer. The cup has Japan, so this isn't this is an older piece, but I thought it would look really cute in what I'm going to do. And then the last thing that I have to show you is another piece for that project, and it's just this bowl, super I mean old and stained up, but I liked the detail around here, and I guess it was a, perhaps a soup bowl or something. So those are the pieces that I picked up for that project. I have yet to find the basin or the tub for it, but I, I know I will find it somewhere. Uh, oh, and the faucet. I have to find the faucet as well, which should be super easy to find. I, I can pick one of those up at Habitat for Humanity, I'm sure. So that's all of my free goodies this week. Like I said, had a ball. My favorite, it's the elephant. I absolutely love this elephant. I think he is adorable. He's just He's going to make a great accent uh, to my tear tray. So please, everybody, in the comment section down below, let everyone know what your favorite piece or pieces were. If you enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up on it. And uh, as always, until my next video, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. And happy anniversary to my parents up in heaven. They are celebrating, I can't even remember how many years, probably 72 years of marriage uh, today, and I know that they are celebrating, and I love you. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.